things to do out here in Thailand besides just looking for a wife. People here are fun and friendly. They have a beautiful culture, amazing food. You can live like a king for like $2,000 a month. I'm traveling the world right now. I'm a single guy and dating, so I have an experience and it's absolutely the truth that it's better. I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to say. It's the inconvenient truth you guys don't want to hear. Hey, we're out here having fun, living our best lives, and if you think you're gonna stop us with some middle school this is about, oh, you're a loser, you got another thing coming. Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Passport OG. My body, my choice. Well, it's my money, my choice, and I'm going to travel. Passport bros out. Please like, drop them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. I don't even know you. And Thailand does look fun. Mm -hmm. But that gentleman is part of a subculture in America. They're referred to as the passport bros. Who are the passport bros? Well, they're individuals who aren't really satisfied with their options here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so they uh, are traveling the world in search of a partner of a wife, of someone to share their lives with, John. The New York football giants of the What is going on? Very few things in society remain as frustrating as the idea of the double standard. The simple premise that when one group of people do something, they are praised or lauded. But when another group of people do the same thing or employ similar principles, they are berated and looked down on. That is something that you could see here in the juxtaposition between the way that young ladies are spoken about in their protests for reproductive rights versus the way men are spoken about choosing to become passport bros. In some instances, interrupting public activities are lauded as brave and quote unquote good trouble. All right. But as we can see in this video, young men simply choosing to exercise their option of going overseas is quote unquote not good trouble. First of all, it's not like you call it passport bros. That doesn't make it new or whatever. Like going somewhere where the dollar can be stretched further and you think you'll have more control over the women that you entered a relationship. That's not new. That's like, that's a really old thing. The thing that that's the issue isn't what they're doing. It's the way that they are trying to clearly make sure we know that there's a spin to it in their videos. Mm -hmm. Like when your whole thing is what spin? We say we're going for wives and enjoying our time. What spin? Why are these news anchors so blue pilled, so feminist that they just hate on men and we wanting to do anything we want to do? We're not hurting anybody. We're actually raising women out of poverty in these countries, in a sense, because we're marrying women that are worse off than us is advertising to other men as an influencer because you're the one putting out those videos. He's like, don't give me your grade school things. I didn't make you film that video. You put it out there because you're trying to sell a lifestyle and the lifestyle is luxurious exploitation. And I like it. Look, what we constantly say every protest movement is told to do it in a more polite way. Don't be quite so loud. Don't take up so much more space. It would be really nice if you would just protest over there somewhere. And no, they, they want people to see it. So doing it. On the court, it's disruptive, sure, but that's kind of the point of protest. It's safe to say that part of the cause, if not the main cause of the Passport Bros movement is a protest against dating conditions that exist in the West for a growing number of men. It's pretty much a protest, a silent protest, nonviolent. We're not hurting anybody. We are just taking our money and going away. We're not, we're not really trashing women. Most passport bros, yeah, they watch the content and they'll, they'll comment, but we don't go around telling women you're pieces of shit. And that's why we're leaving. We, I don't see passport bros doing that. However way we choose to look at said dating situation or whether passport bros are doing the best they can to compete where they are is immaterial. The bottom line is just as groups of young women are finding displeasure with the situation concerning reproductive rights, Men in the dating arena are expressing concern with the modern state of dating. However, instead of interrupting public events or protesting, passport bros are protesting with passports in hand and by heading to the airport. Either just jokingly or felt like she needed to do PR for the guys. Like, like I just got my passport in because I lost it and then it expired. So finally got it. I booked myself a trip to Cancun. 
I've never been. I wanted to go see uh, Tenochtitlan, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. I've already seen my own temple in Angkor Wat in my country, so I wanted to go see that. And the only reason I'm doing the trip is my best friend's mom, we always take her out on a trip every year for her birthday, and she chose Cancun this year. So we're doing 10 days there. I'm not a big fan of losing, you know, not working for 10 days or, you know, being on vacation for 10 days. Don't worry, videos won't slow down. I'll still have four videos a day, even though I'm out on vacation, so. You know, these are guys who are just like frustrated with the women, whereas there, they're super elegant. We're trash in this country. We're utter trash. By the way, the, by the way we're really there's fast. such wide variety in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's trash if that's your thing. Sure. There's also a lot of classy, beautiful, independent, trash educated ladies. women. Yeah, in the civil rights movement, they used to call it good trouble. You, you're never going to get change by doing it politely. That's not how it works. Remember the great quote by Frederick Douglass, uh, power never concedes without a demand, never has, it never will. So they're making a demand and they also made a demand at Joel Austin's church. Uh, they did actually, why don't we jump ahead to a bit of that footage. It's my body, if my choice, it's my body, my choice, overturn, go. And they say we're the, because I have the a choice. I have a choice. I have a choice. I know that's not allowed to be in the house of God. No, but that's the thing. Like okay. the PR is, these guys are frustrated with women here because the women are bad. It's not that the guys can't hack it. It's not the guys don't have what it takes or can't evolve or learn that they're not willing to meet people halfway. It's always our fault. Our fault. You know, we 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 just you know couldn't make it as men. You know, we can't make the money. You know, the women just are just too good for us. That they can't find a satisfactory relationship. It's that the women are trash. That's why they have to flee to another country. Listen, the gentleman in the TikTok video that we showed earlier, mm -hmm. there aren't a sufficient amount of women in America who are willing to like pour cups of jizz like substances on him as he's walking through the. I said that was at Joel Osteen's church. Uh, I don't know how many people were in that crowd there. It was thousands and thousands of people there, though. Um, I, I think they made a wise choice in doing underwear rather than fully topless. These are religious people. They might have absolutely lost their minds at a woman bearing, daring to bear their bodies. What they're doing can be fine, but they seem to want to make sure that we know that it's not, that this is an exploitative thing. This is a, you know, what are you talking about? We don't make that many videos. Passport bros make a few videos here and there. I make a few videos here and there. We talk about the subject a lot, but we're not pushing it to the mainstream like that. The mainstream is picking it up because there's more men just joining. I, didn't, I don't go around telling you need to be a passport bro. Like you're an idiot if you're not a passport bro. I don't even mention that crap. Trying to down on westernized women or the fact that was, they believe they should have rights or something. It was soap, by the way, that they're throwing uh -huh. on him. It's a good start. So apparently, even in Thailand, they know he's a dirty boy, okay? There are many who say that men looking to go overseas are only taking advantage of young ladies because of the strength of the dollar. But there are also a group of men that are simply looking for the type of woman that they can build a stable relationship and future family with. Herein lies the second double standard. However you feel about religion and the quote unquote house of the Lord, we live in an era now where young ladies can go to said place, take off their clothes where other people are observing their religion, and these young ladies are held up as heroes. That However, is. the mere suggestion that a young man go around the world to enjoy dating or better yet seek a mate to settle down with and possibly build a family with is seen as predatory. But they went to a place to draw attention to it. The stakes are as high as anything in politics is on the future of Roe v. Wade. Um, th this should be considered just the ground floor of what people should be doing. We should see a hundred of those protests, a thousand of those protests every single day. Like I have no problem with men doing this if they feel that this is what they need to do to find someone. Listen, it's not just men, me. by the way. Women don't go abroad to meet people. I mean, maybe they do. I, I'm unfamiliar with that practice. Isn't like. Oh, she's familiar with that practice, boys. 
she'd be getting her cheeks slayed by those BBCs. Pray love isn't love one of the three. Like, I think that's what people do. They I don't think there's a wrong. subculture of women in America who are like, men in the US suck. And no, no, so no, no, I'm going to go to Thailand to find my yes, husband. Yeah. Interestingly enough, just as we've heard from dating coaches and other people in the black community, even the young Turks can't avoid resisting revisiting common tropes spoken about black men choosing to become passport bros. In all seriousness, like to me, what it communicates to the rest of the world when videos like that are posted that are just meant uh -huh. to insult, what they don't realize is they're communicating to the world. I had a lot of trouble finding someone who was yeah. willing to date me. And so I went elsewhere where I think the culture has women. It's never the other way around that women are so bad here. Men are willing to spend a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort to go live in other countries, move to other countries and find other mates other than from here. You cannot say the same about any other country. There's no Asian country, Latin American country are clamoring to come here to marry American women. At least not for, you know, love, for green cards, sure. So why does everybody seem to think American women are just top tier, the best women? No, there's better women out there than women that suit what men are looking for. Men travel all the time. When men travel from New York to LA to Atlanta to, you know, Texas, and they find girlfriends and boyfriends and mates there, it's the same thing. They are just going where they are appreciated and where they have better selection. Men who are more submissive. Don't mischaracterize what's really going on here and don't make it seem as though like there's a growing body of women in America who are seething over guys who are traveling elsewhere to find a you're making videos about it and you're you seem to be kind of seething about it now cuz you're talking so much trash on us partner yeah no one cares yeah, like literally no one cares but yet for a group of men who supposedly us. don't matter another reoccurring theme is revealing itself the theme that people don't care what the passport bros mm. are doing they don't care why they're leaving that passport bros leaving is not even a big deal yet for some strange reason passport bros remains a hot topic people can't avoid speaking on instead of evaluating why passport bros are leaving in the first place the question always comes back around to a similar familiar theme, one that we've heard from dating coaches, detractors, and people that continue to participate in the Western dating scene. But like, let's also just realize what's happening. There are a lot of men who either don't have it in them emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, or have been trained because they follow the wrong influencers that they can't keep up with society. Hmm. There's just a lot about society. Or society just kind of left men behind in vast majorities of all of the United States and in media and everything. Men have been made the evil ones for a very long time. And men are starting to realize if we're seen as the evil ones, why even bother? Why? I can just go somewhere else where they see me as a good person. They see me as a person that might even be a savior to them instead of being a detriment to society. That they can't take. They literally can't watch a movie because if they see two people the same sex kiss, they their pants. Like they can't keep up and so they flee somewhere where they think all those things that scare them and make them feel anxiety and uncomfortable will be repressed by the state and by cultural and social pressures. And because women are so repressed and they don't have rights, they don't even have to go to the trouble of strip. Yes. Yes, because other countries have no rights. Women in every other country other than the United States and in Europe are just slaves. You're a fucking news anchor, bro. At least you should have done some research. Me not doing research, I'm just a fucking YouTuber that watches videos. But you're a news anchor and you don't even know that other countries are more educated than the US? Asian countries are so educated that... Their education level per capita is higher than in the United States. They all know at least two languages. At least. A lot of them know three to four. Maybe even five languages. 
Most people in the U.S. can't even speak the one. Stripping them of the rights. Mm. And so it's guys who can't make it in a modern society yeah, who are fleeing to a place crusties. where things are set up to benefit them. That's all it is. It's my body, my Imagine for a moment that we apply the idea of my body, my choice, or my life, my choice, or better even my dating slash relationship slash marriage life, my choice for passport bros. Is it possible that people could see the choice that passport bros are making is not that they aren't good enough to hack it or they're not strong enough to compete in a certain dating market, but instead they are simply men assuming autonomy over their life and are simply using agency over it. Is it possible that mainstream media outlets would see the passport bro movement more as an expression of freedom or autonomy or of simply my body, my choice? Because at the end of the day, regardless of the way that people choose to cast opinions on passport bros, at the end of the day, that's all it really is. A my body, my choice protest. Shout out to Passport OG, Passport Pops. We need more men like him. The older gentlemen that have lived through it, seen it all, and have even experienced the Passport Bro lifestyle. He lives in Japan. He lives a wonderful life. He, he speaks Japanese. The people in Japan respect the man, take care of the man, love the man. Because he's a good man. As most good men are, or most men are. But we don't get treated that way in the United States. We get treated like trash. We get treated as the second runner-up in most things. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.